Duke and Duchess of Sussex won't make baby Archie's birth certificate public as his birth remains shrouded in a veil of secrecy one week on. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will not make their newborn son Archie's birth certificate public, as his delivery remains shrouded in a veil of secrecy one week on. Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor was born weighing 7 pounds 3 ounces at 5.26 m on Monday. But beyond this, not much else is known about the birth, including where it took place, or who helped deliver the baby who is seventh in line to the throne. Traditionally, the names of the consultants and their hospital are included in the proclamation posted outside Buckingham Palace, but the royal couple declined to include them. Now the pair, who wed last May have also chosen not to make the birth certificate public to keep these details a secret for even longer, instead only submitting it to the local registrar, reports the Sunday Telegraph. It is believed the Duchess, who originally wanted a home birth, was whisked away to London's Portland Hospital, where childbirth packages start at £15,000 and can cost up to £20,000. Jeannie Yoon, 56 a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist based at the private Lister Hospital in Chelsea, who also delivers babies at the Portland, is believed to have been involved in the delivery. When approached by the mail on Sunday on Friday at her home in North London, a smiling Miss Yoon said, I'm not meant to make any comment at all, sorry. I'm not allowed to say anything at all. The decision to keep these details private is in stark contrast to the Duchess of Cambridge, who had Prince George. Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis at the Linda Wing. With each of the births, she posed for photos with her new baby on the steps outside. Prince William and Kate also included the consultants on the easel outside Buckingham Palace. In 2016, all 23 staff involved in the deliveries of Prince George and Princess Charlotte were publicly invited to a royal garden party as a gesture of thanks.